Hello everyone and welcome to Meg's How To Videos where today I'm going to be showing you how to use a clamp meter. Before I show you how to use a clamp meter, some of you are probably wondering, what is its purpose? Well, the purpose of a clamp meter is to allow you to measure current through an insulated conductor, or otherwise, a wire. There are two different types of clamp meters. The first is a current transformer. This one is the cheapest of the two, but it uses a magnetic core current sensor inside its clamp. This type of sensor limits your capability to only being able to test alternate current. The other type of clamp meter is a Hall effect. This one does not use a magnetic core, but instead uses a pulse sensor. This type does cost more, but it allows you to test on both alternate current and direct current. Now, I don't currently possess one of those Hall effect uh, clamp meters, but they pretty much work the exact same way. The only difference is with the Hall effect, it requires you to push a manual button to zero out any readings every time before you test. Besides that, all the steps are the exact same that you'll see in this video. With that said, let's go do some tests to show you how to use a clamp meter. Using a clamp meter is super simple and easy to do. First, we're going to turn it on by locating the knob and rotating it to the setting that we need. Here we're going to be testing for amps on alternate current using this toaster oven. To do so, we're going to locate the A for amps and the AC for alternate current. And we'll turn the dial to 200. Why 200, you may ask? That's because we don't know how many amps this toaster oven is going to draw. With that said, it's safe to just put it on the highest rating first to see what we get. Next, you want to locate the trigger on the side. Sometimes it's on this side, but most of the time it's on the left. And just give it a squeeze. This will open up the clamp. This will allow you to take your insulated conductor, or the wire, and slide it in between the clamp and let it close. This is where we will be able to start reading the current through this wire. Now the toaster oven is off, so we're pretty much getting a reading of zero. Uh, I'll flip one on. And you can see it goes to 6.1, all right? And if I was to push the other one down, it jumps to almost 12. Now, since it's not that high we can, and it's below 20, we're gonna be able to dial it down to 20. You see? And now we get a more accurate reading. It's 12.05 amps, roughly. Okay, pretty cool. Now, you might be ask, uh, wondering why I only put it around one of the wires and then I split it apart. And that's because both wires are carrying the same current. So that if I had both of these wires through here at the same time, they would cancel each other out. Uh, see, watch. And pretty much drop it to zero. You're not getting an accurate reading. Uh, so you're gonna have to make sure that you have some way to split the wire so that you can test each one individually. Cause watch this one. Uh, about 12, this one, 12.14. So you can see they're practically the same and it'll just pretty much eliminate uh, each other. So yeah, uh, the other cool feature I'm gonna show you is that there is the hold button. So you can push this and it'll freeze the, the reading at whatever it was when you push the button. And then you can just push it again to unfreeze it. Yeah, so that's how you use the clamp meter. Uh, you can see that there's all these other settings on here. You can also test for uh, volts and uh, ohms, uh, but uh, that's just pretty much a standardized multimeter. So if you, if you don't know how to use a multimeter, feel free to check out my other how-to video. Uh, there I'll show you how to use it as well as break down each one of these and you know what they are and how you test for them and why you test for them. So, But in this video, it's pretty much just to show you how to use the clamp feature uh, on a clamp meter. Well, there you have it. 
Now you know how to use a clamp meter. If you enjoyed this video, please click on the like button below. That and subscribe to my channel to see more how-to videos. If this video helped you out, or you have an idea for another how-to video, please leave it in the comments below. If I'm able to do it, I will most likely try. Just like this video, someone reached out to me asking for their help to put this together, and I sure did. So again, if you need anything, just put it in there and I will try my best. But with that said, God bless and good luck.